What's up, nerd family? Welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge. My name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, and it is good to have you with me in the lounge today. Now, look, if this is your first time to the lounge, just know that the Poindexter Lounge is a place for nerds. It's a place where you and me and my crew, meaning all of you, my nerd family, can get together and talk about all the things that we love. Things like TV shows, movies, games, sci-fi, fantasy, comic books, superheroes, toys, technology... And so much more. And if those are things that you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know when we put out new videos because we are here for you and we want to have fun with you and you guys make the Poindexter Lounge exactly what it is, a place for nerds. Today I'm starting something brand new that I hope is very beneficial to everyone who watches the channel. You see, I get asked all the time about starting a YouTube channel or a podcast and what kind of equipment to use and what kind of things to say and, and how to get started. And the truth is, is that if you ask 10 people what their opinions are about how to get started and what equipment to use, you're going to get 10 different answers. So my advice, especially to someone just getting started is, well, to decide what you want to do and to start small. You see, you don't have to invest a ton of money and resources in it right away. You need to focus on your content and what it is that you want to say. Making sure to decide what kind of content you want to put out on your channel or podcast is the most important thing you can do. Much more important than spending four or $500 on a microphone or buying the latest HD camera to look good. The most important thing is, well, that you just start and you get stuff out there. Today is a unique opportunity for me to review a, a microphone set that I believe could possibly be beneficial to anyone looking to start a podcast or, or to do YouTube, but not wanting to break the bank. Today, we're going to review the GMAC PC20 24-bit condenser microphone. Stay tuned. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to present to you guys the GMAC PC20. As you can see here, the box comes very clean, very neat, looks very well put together with the product right here on the front. The PC20 is a condenser microphone, 192 kilohertz, 24 bit, and comes with literally everything you need to get started. As you open the box, the first thing you'll notice is that the user manual is right here on top. It's got everything you need, all the information on how to operate this microphone and how to get it set up. As you'll see here, it comes with literally everything you need to get started. A pop filter, the microphone, everything is pre-wrapped and pre-ready to go. It even comes with the cable. So everything is here, including the clamps, the stand, and the extendable arm. So you don't have to go out and purchase anything else but this kit. You're completely ready to go right from the start. Now I've laid everything out here for you to see. It actually comes with the extendable arm, which I can't stress this enough because just buying an extendable arm will cost you about half of what this kit costs. This kit is about $67 and uh, it comes with the clamps. It comes with an additional pop filter, which these pop filters aren't very cheap either. But you know what? The quality is still here for the microphone, which is amazing. It comes with the microphone holder. It comes with an additional screen filter for you if you want to put that on the microphone itself. And it also comes with all the cables that you need to hook it up to your computer or laptop. And then of course there's the mic itself, which is not a bad microphone. For the price of what this kit costs, you're getting some good quality. So let's go ahead and go over installation. This is very, very simple. It comes with this very, very easy clamp to put on. You just attach it to your desk. You just open up the clamp and then attach it by screwing it on tight. Now at home, I have a glass desk. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of cardboard and kind of put it in between because it's tempered glass and you don't want to put too much pressure on it. But having that piece of cardboard there does the job and gets it on nice and firm without damaging my desk. The next part is this extendable arm. These extendable arms look really great, especially on camera, and uh, they make it so that you can move the mic around and keep it out of your workspace. It just slides right into the hole like that, and then of course you just tighten it down with the knob that's right there. It's very, very simple. It goes 360 degrees, and you can make it as tight or as loose as you want it to be able to move it around.
Next, I'll show you how to install the shock absorber mount. Now, the shock absorber mount goes right here on this bolt. You can see here there's two places, one for the microphone and then one for that bolt. And you just loosen this a little bit. The shock absorber mount is really important because this way, if your microphone takes a hit or something, it's not gonna take a direct hit. It's gonna be able to bounce and move with you as you go. But you simply loosen this a little bit and then tighten it right down onto the bolt. It's gonna go left, right, 360 degrees. It actually has a, another lever on there so you can go up and down. And it just works really nice. The installation of all of this is super quick, super easy. And before you know it, you're ready to go. And you can put this microphone directly where you need it, right in front of your computer or wherever you're broadcasting from. You're all set and ready to go. Like I said, it's got this up and down part right here so that you can make sure that it reaches your mouth, where you're at, and where you're speaking from. Now you just drop the mic down into the hole and that part of the installation is done. I'll show you how to connect the mic in just a minute. But first, we've got to attach the pop filter. A pop filter is really nice. It keeps your P's and your S's at bay uh, while you're speaking, of course. And this is really easy to install as well. And I can't point out enough that a pop filter is gonna cost you a pretty penny as well. And this set comes with that. You simply place the lip on the bar of the arm clamp and tighten it down. It can't be any more simple. You can adjust where exactly you want to put it on the arm clamp for ease of where you're going to be speaking from. And once you have that, you have an adjustable arm that will reach to anywhere you need to be so that all of your peas and your pops and your fizzles won't be heard on your recordings. All right, now that you have that all set up, let's talk about how to hook up this microphone to your computer. It's very, very simple. You have this USB cable that it comes with. I can't stress that enough. You do not have to go purchase a USB cable. You simply drop the microphone into the shock absorbing mount and hook up the USB cable to the bottom. And then just tighten it here along the bottom onto the microphone. Once you've done that, you just adjust to the place that you wanna be and next we'll talk about how to put that into your computer. Just before that, I will say that the mic does come with this windscreen that you can simply slip right over the microphone if you wish. It does add a little bit to the look if you want, but that's totally up to you. You do have the pop screen, so I guess if you're in a windy room, you could put this wind filter on, but it's not necessary. And here is the final part. You take the USB cable and you plug it directly into the USB port on your computer. Now I'm doing this on my laptop and I'm gonna show you how to do this in StreamYard because that's what I use to stream with. Once you're in the program, you select your microphone by hitting LCS USB audio and it will automatically connect. You don't have to do anything special. You literally just select that as your microphone and you're good to go. There's nothing else needed. It automatically recognizes the microphone that you're using. I have now tried it out with a couple of other programs as well, and every time I select USB audio, it always recognizes right away. You can see here, before I enter my broadcast studio, I'm able to check and see that the mic is working. It should work the same for you. Have fun broadcasting. So there you have it, folks. That is my review of the GMAC PC20 24-bit condenser microphone. And if you're interested in how it actually sounds, well, you've been listening to it the entire time because I used it to make this entire video, including all of the voiceovers. So I hope that that helps you a little bit in making a decision about a product that might work for you. So if you are interested in the microphone, you can find a link to the Amazon store down in the description below. It runs about 60 to $70, but if you use my code, you could save 20%, making it an even better deal. But wait, there's more. Because, let's face it, there's always more. If you act right now, this item has been reduced to $42.99 with free shipping. That's right, $42.99 with free shipping. The link is below. But check it out, folks, because there's even more. If you use my discount code down in the description below, you get an additional 20% off the discounted price, which means you can have this entire microphone set delivered, shipped to your house for right around $34. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna be discounted, but all I can say is if you're thinking about getting this microphone, now is the time. Look, whether you choose to buy the microphone or not, I hope that today you learned something about a product that maybe will help you make some decisions and how you choose 
to get your voice out there and how you choose to start your broadcasting journey, whether it's a podcast or whether it's here on YouTube. Again, folks, that's the most important thing. Just get started. Get some basic tools and get started doing what you need to do. Your voice needs to be heard. Until next time, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, reminding you that no matter what, don't let anybody tell you that your voice doesn't matter or that your opinions don't matter or that your nerddom and your fandom doesn't matter. Treat everyone with respect, love everyone, and as long as you do that, you'll always have a place here in the Poindexter Lounge. Until next time, bye-bye.